Hello again, everybody. So, this is um, just some of the things I've received in the last um, week or so. Things that I've ordered, um, or things that I actually exchanged because I would either had a credit or etc, etc. Um, I haven't talked about this too much, but I'm on the self-imposed no-buy for makeup um, for May and June. Um, I'd like to go to IMATS in July in Vancouver, and there's going to be a lot of the products that I'm looking for there, so, um, and I, I have to tell you this go around, you guys, I'm finding it really challenging, <laughs> but as I said, there's a couple of things, um, or I haven't said, there are a couple of things I did relent on, but there were things that I'd actually paid for ages ago and just picked up um, this week, so, um, so I'm just going to get started here. Um, this is um, a Hakuhuru, uh, there we go, um, brush case, and it's, um, it's quite nice. I like the color, um, and I do like the fact that it has the cover here to um, hold the brushes safely, I guess. Um, and I think this is sort of like a pleather here, but Tom, it's, it's well made, and I think it's It'll last me a while, and um, I love that I can hold my favorite brushes in here. The only thing I'm disappointed about is that my um, my S103, my powder brush, is actually too large for this case. Unless I put it sideways, and if I was going to do this, I'd put a brush guard on it just to make sure that it didn't um, just so that the the head doesn't get mangled up. Um, but I'm loving that. So, and I really, I mean, these guys are. Fantastic. I mean, I love the paper that they wrap everything up in. Um, they're just so professional about the way they ship. And not to be cheeky, but I mean, for the price that you pay for these brushes, one would one would think so. Um, then I received um, an order from Hotlook. And now I had never heard of um, Vincent Longo until I watched um, one of Donna Short's videos. Um, now, I believe it was one of the blushes she was speaking of in one of the videos. Now, none of the blushes were on um, Hot Look. However, there were several of the products that I found obviously um, interesting and ordered. Um, so this is uh, the Translucent Powder. And, oops, sorry. Um, so yeah, so it's the Translucent 01 Press Powder. And I've been looking for a really nice one, and oops, I'm just going to turn that around. Um, and I'm not showing my face because I'm just I've been cleaning and organizing and such. So anyway, so there you see it'll, it's the plastic piece there. So I'll just flip that out, and then there is a puff, and there's the powder. And I'm just going to put this down for a second. And it's really nice, but it it has a beautiful feeling. And it's funny, it, it almost feels like a cream, but it's not. Now, it might be a little bit light for me, but I think this might be perfect for the winter. Um, and because it was on Halt Look, the price was just so dang good, I couldn't resist. And I like the compact, it's very light, and I like the size of the mirror in it. Um, then the next uh, four products I got, two of them are what he calls Hydro Sticks. Um, and they're quite heavy, actually. Uh, this one is in Gold Solar. And it's just a beautiful gold champagne color. Absolutely beautiful. And I'll just do a little bit of a swatch here. And there's the color there. Very, very pretty. And I don't think I can really... Um, do it, I, just the way I'm using my camera right now, um, but um, very, very pretty. And that's going to look gorgeous with um, a tan. And I also like the fact that, um, like the hard candy, they have the um, the top that goes on, that snaps on the top, and then it has its own little snap on top. So that's one. And then the second one I got is Rosewood Dawn. Now, this is a little darker than I had anticipated, um, but I'm just going to learn to work with it. 
And there it is. And it's so pretty. Like, that is just so, so pretty. And it was a little squished when I got it. Um, but there's the swatch of that. I'll just share it out a little bit. But that is so... And I mean, this is... You don't need a lot for this. Um, now, the interesting thing is they feel very wet when you put them on. Um, but... I mean, they just feel so beautiful. They feel gorgeous on the skin. So, anyway, those two. I'm really pleased with those. Then I got two... Now, he calls these Eye Shimmer Souffle. So, I got two of them. This one is in... I keep putting everything upside down. Ultraviolet. And I don't know if any of you know, but I'm, a, I'm crazy for purples and violets and lilacs and lavenders. And it's very challenging to do this with my hand. And there's the color. I mean, it's just so stinking pretty. Um, and I'll just do a little bit of a touch here. And there it is. I mean, it's so, so pretty. And I do have a little bit of creping on my eyes, but um, I tried this the other day, and it it sits so nicely with a primer on my eyes. It doesn't show the crepiness at all. And then this one here... Let me down for a second. <laughs> okay. And now uh, this one, I don't remember the name of this, so one sec. Um, Palladio. And just a gorgeous champagne color. And there it is. Oh, um, this would also make a really pretty highlighter. There it is there. Very, very pretty. I love the feel of these. Um, all of his products. I just, I really like the feel of all of them. So I'm really pleased with those purchases. Um, then I stopped at MAC. I don't know if you guys remember in a couple of my past videos I've been talking about how um, I had, um, I was having problems with their brushes and a couple of their other products. They just weren't working for me. Which is, for me, isn't really unusual with MAC. I don't think the, the, the lipsticks don't work, um, the lip glosses, all that, which is so unfortunate because there's a couple of colors I really want to try. I'm not going to give up yet, but um, it's been very frustrating. So, anyway, this time I took back, I had purchased the um, oil, um, I don't know if it was a primer or whatever. Anyway, I used it and it just didn't work for me. So I took it back and I decided to invest in some other things that I've been wanting. Uh, one of which is rice paper. Really happy to get that. Um, and then I have been wanting the strobe cream forever and a day. And I can't remember if it was Wayne Goss or Justin Hunter that recommended this to me. And I have been looking for the travel size. Because apparently this is, it lasts you forever and ever and ever. So I thought, well, you know, a travel size should be sufficient. I could not find it for love or money. I couldn't find it in any freestanding store, no pro stores, nothing. And they only, and this is apparently where they only sell them. So I did finally find it, and they had a huge stock of it. Stock of it, and I was talking to the uh, sales um, associate there, and just telling her, you know, the challenges I've been having and such and such. Um, she gave me one for free, so I have two of these, the other one's in the bathroom. Um, my understanding, um, actually from one of my teachers, and then from, um, again, it was either Wayne Goss or Dustin Hunter, and some videos on YouTube, to mix this with my foundation, so I'm quite keen to try that. Um, and I don't know if any of you have, um, tried the stroke cream, um, but it's just, it's basically a, a face illuminator, highlighter sort of thing, and that's what it looks like, and I'm going to fake it here, you guys, but I don't know if you can tell, but it just gives you just a nice, nice sheen, like you can, and you can really sheer this out too, so, um, anyway, I'm stoked that I finally found it, finally got it, finally got it in the travel size, and even more stoked that they were so kind to give me two. Now, I'm going to backtrack a little bit here. I'm wondering if the reason they gave me two was because um, the Hay Sailor collection wasn't out yet, but they were preparing for a party. And 
I said, oh, you know, um, I really want to get the Crystal Avalanche. And the uh, sales associate said, oh, well, no problem. That's part of our permanent line and we have it. And I'm like, okay. So if it's in your permanent line, why is it in the collection as being something new? And her face kind of went red. Um, and she said, well, actually, it is part of the permanent line. And the only reason, um, I said, you know, and you're charging more for it as well. And she said, well, actually, it's only the packaging. It's because of the packaging. So, you know, that's, sorry, you guys, but you know what? That's shady, man. <laughs> like, that's really shady. Um, I mean, I love makeup, and I, you know, obviously I've chosen to have it as a part-time career. And um, But I do have to say that one of the sides of the business I don't care for is the way they take advantage of women. I think it's just, or any kind of, any makeup users, because men use it too. Um, but anyway, enough on that. Um, but this is gorgeous. So this is what it is, and very, very creamy, just beautiful, um, and this is something, I mean, you can use it a high, you can use it as a highlighter, um, I might even try all over the lid with uh, lilac over it and leaving this in the inner corner, um, but it's very, very pretty, and I'm really pleased that I got it, um, so, you know, I did say that I wasn't too happy about, you know, whatever. So it could have been embarrassment or whatever that also prompted the uh, the nice little gift of another strobe cream. Um, anyway, there you go. But I'm very pleased to have all of these. So that was good. And she did actually give me a sample as well of the Zoom Fast Black Lash. And I don't know much about this, but I'll look it up. Um, so anyway, so I'm really, really pleased because I don't think I'm going to be turning anything of this. Um, so, so happy about that. And actually, part of the credit, um, I couldn't decide what I wanted, so I chose to use part of it as a gift card um, for my niece who turned 23 on Monday. So that worked out really well. I always like it when you're not further out of pocket, you know. Um, and then I finally managed to get to the bay. I had watched... Dustin Hunter's Modern Mercury video, and this is, gee was I don't know, back in November, December of last year, and I was unfortunately not able to get the, um, the limited edition highlighter, but I saw this, and I was like, I must have this, must, must, must have this. So this is the Cyber Lilac, and it is <laughs> gorgeous. I'm so, so happy. I I had actually paid for it, and I just could not get to the city um, where, you know, this particular uh, SD Lauder counter is until um, just this past weekend. So they were kind enough to hold on to it for me, because I kept saying, they, you know, they'd mail it to me, and I said, no, 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 I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And <laughs> anyway, they couldn't do much because it was already paid for it, but um, anyway, it was certainly well, wor wor well worth the wait. So there it is, and it's just... Ah! and gorgeous, you guys. I mean, look at that. So, so pretty. So, so pretty. And the light is just not doing it justice. But, um, oh, I'm so happy. Um, and actually something that occurred to me is e t trying some of my liquid illuminators and just mixing like a touch of this in there so that it's sort of almost at the tip of my cheek, almost into the um, blush area. I just want to try that out and see what it looks like, but um, love, love, love that. And I do like the little um, eyeshadow palette, it's kind of cute, or the pan. Um, then I did um, a couple of, or this is from a blog sale, um, so, and only one little tiny disappointment, well it's not really tiny, but I guess in the scheme of the big, thing, big picture it's little. Um, this is Vanilla. And I guess in shipping, um, I was quite surprised actually because this woman normally packages everything really, really well and I've never had a problem. This is the first time anything has come to me damaged. Um, so I'll have to use, um, I can't remember what it is, rubbing alcohol or whatever. Um, that little tricker, I may just leave it like this, I don't know, and just put the vanilla, what's in this envelope here, into a little... Um, pot and just, you know, use it as a pigment. I mean, it's not really that big a deal. Um, 
then I actually got the um, Longwear um, Cream Shadow in Sound Dollar. This is Bobby Brown. And this, I love, I, I really, I, um, I'm going to have to do that YouTube video. YouTube made me do it. Uh, Stacy from the Jewels 123 got me into Bobby Brown. And I must say, I was reluctant to, you know, get into it because I thought it was a bit dear, expensive, but um, well, well worth every single penny. Um, I have several of her products, eye products now, and I'm really loving it. And this, I really love the, um, the uh, shimmer uh, shimmer powders, and I do love the, um, the cream shadows. They're beautiful. Um, and then, now I don't recall, I don't think this was part of the deal, but the, um, the lady included um, mascara wand for my kit. And I, did, I know I bought these beautiful lashes, and I think they're MAC. Um, and then she included several samples of pigments, which I thought was really nice. This is a really pretty copper, meaning to the red. Very pretty. I don't know what the name is, but it's very, very pretty. Uh, this one is not copperized. Very, very pretty. Uh, this is oh, no name on that one, um, but that's a, just a gorgeous violet, beautiful color. And then this one is matte copper beam, and. Just of late, I started getting into the neutrals and um, some of the bronzes and stuff like that. And with blue eyes, I think it'll look really good. And I do have to, um, you know, teach myself not to get stuck and be rigid. Because when I'm working on clients, I mean, if I'm going to be rigid, I'm not going to find any success. So, um, anyway, that was very nice of her to send those. And then I was really happy to see that they had a Sally's where I was and um, so I popped in there there were some some products that I wanted to get um, uh, eyelashes I don't consider makeup I know that sounds funny but I don't um, I wanted to try the single lashes or the knotted um, you know the little the clusters of lashes so I picked up these Ardell um, lashes and those are really pretty and then I also picked up this three in one. So again, the individual, then the flip, I don't know what these ones are. And these are half lashes here, and then it has the, uh, the glue there. So, yeah. So those were, I thought, was really, I was really happy with those, or I am really happy. And of course, here we go with the nail polish. So this is Orly. And this is, I don't have a instant focus on this, you guys. Um, Mysterious Curse, and that's actually what I have on right now. It's showing blue, but it's actually much more of a rich sort of royal purple with a blue undertone. Very pretty. Um, and then I also picked up the China Glaze, and this is First Mate. And I, this is a very beautiful blue. I don't have a blue like this, thank goodness, because like Judith, um, from, uh, I think it's Judith 16 something or other, Middle Age Beauty Queen is her blog name, um, or is the name of her blog, but this is just a pretty, pretty blue. Um, and then the last product I bought there was this little item for $2, and it's called Sally Girl Highlighter Illuminator, and there's the color. It's um, and again the light's not really showing it true. There it is. Um, and this is really pretty. It's very creamy. I obviously really pigmented. That was a really heavy swipe I just did. Um, so I mean obviously I wouldn't use it that heavy, but um, oh, there you go. I mean you could also use that as a bronzer as well. I'm going to have to start getting into bronzers. Um, I actually don't use them, never have. I have fairly high cheekbones, and they're fairly prominent anyway, but um, I, I have to practice these looks because eventually I will be doing them on other people. Um, and then I did pick up... Oh, okay, and these are just little random things. At Winners, I picked up, of course, another polish. And this one is Evening Seduction. And this is Chana Glaze. 
beautiful deep 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 uh, burgundy red black absolutely gorgeous and then when I was at the bay I as you know I love Declior products and this is their oh my goodness I knew I was gonna forget and I should have written it down but this is their mask um, and it's uh, basically a pseudo Botox treatment I suppose is what it's it classed as um, she said there's enough in here for two masks and it apparently you just put a very light film over your face leave it on for 20 minutes and rinse off and you'll see apparently the difference immediately um, just tightens up your skin etc so I'm really excited to try that and um, I I'm really excited to see that Declior is at the bay here in Canada um, it's been not a lot of people know or knew about Declior I think it's becoming a better known brand here in Canada. Um, I found out it from a friend's spa and I haven't, I swear by this product or by the brand, it's just wonderful. Um, anyway, so I'm really excited to try that and I might do a bit of a review on that. Anyway, so that's kind of all my stuff. I'm very happy with everything. Um, tell me what you guys think of the, you know, the quality of these videos. Um, if you think I should need to be doing something different, I'm going to be working on it as I go. And if anybody knows anything about JVC camcorders, I'm having one heck of a time getting the downloading from that SD, SD card. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is um, a Fuji uh, HD um, camera with video capacity, and I'm not having any problems loading this up. So. Um, um, I'd hate to send the JVC back. I, I like a, um, I bought that my, for myself for Christmas last year um, for making videos. So I'd really hate not to be able to use it. I mean, you can see my old my old fashioned glasses. Um, so anyway, um, okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.